Hey guys, my name is Mark from jazzguitarlessons.net and welcome to this vlog, a short and a little bit of a different format. So in this video, what's coming is a live session I had one-on-one -on -one with Steve where I took this A7 chord and we went through the rainbow of all the different possible alterations up until we get to a point like altered scale, whole tone scale, etc. So I went through everything and defined the theory and really how to get there and what the logic of it is. So. This video was a session filled with Steve, and of course I got his permission to do that. Steve is a jazz guitar accelerator student, and the accelerator is where I take you from wherever you are in the world of jazz, probably maybe a beginning jazz or intermediate jazzer, and make you in a very, into a very decent jazz player in a very short amount of time. Hence, Accelerator is the name of the program, right? So if you'd like to find out more about this and see if I can become your coach, get on a call with me, go to nextlevel.jazzguitarsons.net or you can just check the link below. So I'll, I'll, let, uh, I'll let you watch our little session I had with Steve. Please let me know if you have any questions or comment below. Uh, I went through all the stuff pretty fast with Steve. I didn't take any notes, so uh, post your comments or questions. And if there's anything else I can clarify for you guys, please hit me. You can always reach me at mark, M-A-R-C, at jazzguitarsons.net or of course subscribe here to this channel to see all the content I publish on a regular basic basis sorry i'll talk to you soon thank you guys take care have fun with steve and mark and here's your mini lesson on the a7 chord during that progression 5a so d minor 7 to c and that's so a7 is the secondary dominant to your next chord a7 is the 5 of d yes so what i want to go through now is just the different possibilities for what scale could be used and we'll go from very plain vanilla all the way to altered crazy stuff all right so in order if you have an a7 chord the easiest way to perceive of it is to think that's that's in the key of d major right so you play pure a7 mixolydian so a13 this will sort of clash when you're playing in the key of C major because now you get an F sharp and a C sharp. All right, so that would be your first option. If you take the A bursole, they will tell you, uh, sorry. Uh, I just played A mixolydian. They, they'll go, know your scale syllabus. So that would be sort of entry level scales. You play Dorian, Major, or Mixolydian, and that's it. So far so good. Second option. If you're a little fancier, like me, you will say, well, that comes from D melodic minor. What it gives you is the same note as D major, remember, except the F is natural. Start that scale on A, so you get Mixolydian, flat six, In other words, you get, you get an A7, flat 13, but with a natural 9. So it sounds like this, not like this. That's the second option. The beauty in that scale is, as I've showed Steve the other time, is if you play a C major scale, you just raise the C to a C sharp and you keep the six other notes the same. That's effectively D melodic minor. That's a shortcut for getting your D melodic minor scale. It's, it's one note away from C major. So far, still to this day, this is my favorite sound to use on a secondary dominant of that sort. When you have a chord like this, which is six, which is five of two, I'd always think of the two as melodic minor during that while, which gives you A7 flat 13 or D melodic minor. So D melodic minor of destination. Sounds modern, it sounds good, so you would solo like, sorry, that's uh, that's my friend Scott, so. I did not play any external notes to the scale choices. A, D, G. D is Dorian, G is Mixolydian. We're not even altering the five, we're just talking about the six. So now we have this, but we have this. The next step up is to go. So now we have flat nine as well, flat 13. Flat nine is, Steve is smiling, D harmonic minor. 
of destination. It gives you an A7 that you have to do two things to it. You have to go from this, that's pure mixolydian, you have to go flat two, and flat six that, that we inherited from T melodic minor. So you get the scale of A mixolydian with a flat two and a flat six. In other words, you get all the same note as C major, except the C is sharp and the B is flat. So that's close to F major as well, because of the B flat. So your scale will be... So just running the scales, C major, A7, flat 9, flat 13, D Dorian, G7. You're with me? Okay, perfect. So, so far we've covered plain A7, 13. A7 flat 13, but the ninth is natural. A7 flat 13, flat 9. Harmonic minor of destination, a bebop favorite. When you play like this, you're going to sound like late 40s to mid 60s. And it's in the mid 60s that guys started to sort of use more interesting alterations. Uh, flat 13, flat 9 is also reminiscent of what you'd hear in Beethoven. Like. It's, they, they liked that. The classical composers like that because harmonic minor is used to harmonize harmonic chords. So there's that. Let's keep going. Ready? <laughs> okay. Um, the next one, could you could use A7, Mixolydian sharp four. It could work. It's pretty out, so I'm not gonna spend more time on this, but it is. It is a possibility, a possibility, so. Right, so it's just, it's pull, you're pulling, but you get a D sharp in there, and that D sharp is like, it wants to do something. So it's, the, the interest of an al altered scale or chord is always that it's pulling, it's going somewhere. All right, so that's one way to go somewhere. On the flip side of this, if you know your tritone subs, playing A7 sharp 11, as we've just done, is a tritone sub. It would be E flat altered. It's a tritone sub. Meaning that on the other leg, if you want to do E flat, makes a Lydian sharp 4, sharp 11, you can play the altered scale. You can play A7 as the altered. When you do that, you are effectively playing E flat 7, makes a Lydian sharp 4 or you're playing B flat melodic minor. Now we're getting further and further, and that's like sort of the, amongst the two most tense sounds you can use for, for A7. Um, that and the next one, the next two ones I'm gonna talk about. So A7 altered has a flat nine and a sharp nine in the scale, right? That's all. That's just the scale. It has a sharp five, it has a flat five in it as well. So you can call it a flat 13 or a sharp five, you can call it a sharp 11 or a flat five. It, this is flat and sharp nine, this is flat and sharp five. So there are two of those. You want to summarize the um, altered scale like this, you can say, well, on A7, play B flat melodic minor, um, play E flat seven sharp 11. That's another way of saying the same thing. Another way of saying the same thing, that's the Mark version, the Mark recipe. Pick your shell, A, G, and C sharp. You have three notes. To, to create a scale that has seven notes, you're missing four notes. What are those? Flat nine, sharp nine, flat five, sharp five. And you've got your scale. Easy, right? Once you know, it's like, ah, oh, of course. Knowing this in relation to the, I like it, you know, if you're on an E chord, then talk to me in terms of E, right? Yeah. So that, because then it all lines up with your knowledge of one, yeah. two, three, four, five, six, seven, and E. Yeah. Yeah. So now it's one, flat nine, sharp nine, uh, three, flat five or sharp four, sharp five or flat 13, add a seven, and back to one. So that the alter scale is not pretty. It's like three good notes and four bad bad guys. Love it. And you can think of it like this. So you're because that's how I think of it. Even Wes, by the way, Wes did. Even if that note was wrong, 
when, during a, an A7, you would play B flat Dorian. Not even B flat melodic minor, that's one note away. It still worked because he's Wes and you know anything he played sounded wonderful. But I've transcribed this, I'm like, dude, he's not even playing the altar scale, he's just playing Dorian, half step up Dorian. And he's just pulling out his licks and he's Wes, so you're like, wow. <laughs> but you know. So it's more about the storytelling than the correct syntax or grammar, right? Uh, I have two more, believe it or not. <laughs> okay. One more is using the diminished scale. So I'm going to give you a mini lesson on this. Going super fast, start here. Okay. So I'm playing A, C, E. What you want to do is you want to change one note to that. So start with the flat nine. So go like this. Yeah. You want to approach the flat nine by a half step. You're with me? Okay. Then you have the third. You want to approach it by a half step. Right? Then you have the fifth. You want to approach it by a half step. And you have the seventh. You want to approach it by a half step. If you do that fast. Okay. That's a scale. I'll let you work this out because this is a piece of work. But this is the real work. So within that, notice you have this triad. So you could do... Or you could go or you could go you could create triads but this triad is in there but the C triad is also in there so you could have triadic work that you could do on major and ma minor triads within that because it's a symmetrical scale it, it's eight notes half step whole step half step whole step so it's symmetrical so there's lots of stuff you can do my favorite fingering which I taught on countless lessons is this guy and then it's positional up to the foot the top four strings it's positional then I go down then it so you can reuse that video later to sort of check it out and the last one uh, would be whole tone scale but that's a bit unorthodox but you're here and you go well you know the scale right step so you can develop a positional approach to that there's countless ways of playing it actually I was just finishing uh, this guy I finished volume 2 yesterday and man this book's heavy or I'm just working out too hard I'm like oh, I'm sore um, and you can develop a sound in which you have sharp 4 sharp 5 uh, 13 natural mind very hyper sound so you could have like another pass C again I'm sort of I'm running running the scale to show you. Uh, this scale has six notes and not seven. So altered scale, sorry. Up to the altered scale in the video, it's always seven notes, it's diatonic. Now symmetrical scale, eight notes, it's diminished. And this one is also symmetrical, it's six notes. So that's all the possibilities for an altered chord. You can build other structures and say, oh, that's a tritone over bass. It's like, yeah, of course. Oh, uh, my um, uh, triad pairs. Yeah, you could build a ton of those. But that's like, as far as jazz vocabulary, that's what you'll hear in Parker and Michael Brecker, right? That's what you hear in Charlie Christian and Pat Metheny. If you get into the fusion in the Frank and Bali stuff and the more like modern stuff, maybe that doesn't account for everything, but that's like 99.9% .9 of all the jazz vocabulary. That being said, do you have any questions? No, thank you. That was really amazing. Okay. That was amazing.